Today, we will be talking about shrink sleeve applicators as well as shrink sleeve heat funnels. The agenda, we're gonna find out where to find it on Sigma's website, define the type of equipment, uh, how and where customers use this machine, upstream and downstream equipment that you can purchase before and after this, favorite manufacturers that we like, benefits and features of this machine, industries that it's used in, as well as key questions and key comments that you're going to talk to your customers about. First, where to find it on our website, you're going to hover over buy our equipment, go down to packaging equipment, and then we have it in two separate categories, the applicator as well as the heat tunnel. Sometimes a customer needs both, Some of them, sometimes they just need one or the other. So, the definition of this equipment. Basically, it's taking a plastic tube of film, combining that film and shooting it over a container. That container can basically be oddly shaped, it can be a perfect cylinder, but that is what makes this machine beneficial for most is that it can handle different shaped containers. As you can see on the left-hand side, that film roll is already the film combined and seamed at the end. And once that film hits the mandrel, bullet, a couple different names for it, it will separate that film and shoot it over whatever the container is on the conveyor. So after that plastic film is over top that container, it needs to be shrunk to go around the container. That is where your shrink sleeve heat tunnel comes in. What makes a shrink sleeve tunnel different than a standard tunnel is most of the time you're gonna be using steam instead of just electric heat. Water transfers heat about 20 times faster than standard air, so that means if you're sending a plastic bottle through, you don't need as much heat, and if you, if you were to use a lot more heat, this plastic would melt, conform the container, and ruin the product. So it's nice to note that if you're going to sell a steam tunnel, make sure that they have a water supply. Some of, some of them have them built in, some of them don't. Benefits, marketing. When you're looking at a shrink sleeve, you can use full top to bottom of the container for marketing compared to just a wraparound. You still have some empty space here that you aren't using for marketing or other nutritional values information. Flexibility, um, you can use blank containers uh, basically, if you've got an industry where you're using different shapes, different sizes of containers, you can use one type of labeling application to cover all of them. Tamper evidence, this is for food safety. You've seen this a lot in grocery stores whenever you have this band up here on top of your container. This allows you to say, okay, this has not been opened yet because the seal is still intact. That is what a shrink sleeve applicator can do. Durability, the labels are printed inside out, meaning that the ink is on the inside and then a clear coat of film is on the outside, protecting that label so that it can't get scuffed, marked during shipping. Sustainability, again, you can cover different types of containers with this. It makes recycling easy. You can just take this label off, rip it all at once. It's not, there's no glue, there's no adhesive, so it'll come clean off. The container will be straight plastic whenever it's going through recycling. Here are your different types of sleeves, um, partial, full, tamper evident, multi-pack. So again, this is an example of a full. When I purchased this fry sauce, it was all the way around the cap. Tore that off. Again, that was ensuring the freshness of the container. Full sleeve, partial sleeve would just be half of that. A tamper evident, just doing the cap to require safety for the product as well as a multi-pack sleeve. On the multi-packs, those are going to be mostly just two and three packs because you're still using that film for marketing material. It's not just going to be a clear film over top. Could be, but to take advantage of the shrink sleeve, you can use marketing material on it. Upstream equipment of this, you're gonna need a bottle unscrambler, bottle rinser, orienter. Um, if you're doing tamper evident, you're gonna need the product filled, labeled, and capped before that shrink sleeve goes over top to ensure the cap to the container. In this video here, you're seeing the unscrambler as well as the orienter. You're gonna see as these bottles come down, there's going to be basically a hook that grabs if it's the front nozzle first, putting the bottom end. If the bottom end is coming, it's not gonna grab it. So basically making sure that every bottle is entering the conveyor in the same orientation. Downstream, you've got a lot of options. Um, anything that's basically getting the product ready to go out the door, 
coders, retorkers, metal detectors, again, multi-packer bundler. If you've got multiple of these, needing to shrink film, a clear film to wrap them in together in a bulk load. Location in a production line. Uh, this is a water bottling line. So you can kind of see here in the top right, bottle starts for the blow molding. It'll go through the washing, filling, capping through a conveyor, blow dryer before it hits the coder because you want to obviously put code on a dry product. And then that's whenever it enters the shrink sleeve labeling system. You can see that heat tunnel again. It's tall and skinny, making sure that that heat is focused on a specific area. Moving down the conveyor into a laning conveyor, moving those bottles into different lanes, getting them ready for the multi-packer bundler, packaging them together, ready to be put on the pallet. This first video is for cans. Um, this is going to be a full sleeve. And again, for this application, since you're on a aluminum can, that doesn't mean that you necessarily need steam because aluminum can withstand the heat. So it would be okay to do an electric heat tunnel for this. You're seeing that plastic come down those wheels. Those are your cutters. The knives that are cutting that shrink sleeve right before it goes down. Those gripper wheels are then shooting the sleeve onto the can. You've got your blue photo eye right there saying that a product is ready for a shrink sleeve to be applied to it. You've got these white wipers that are constantly rotating down, making sure that that sleeve is flush to the bottom. You'll see one right there get pushed all the way down before it goes to the heat tunnel. Here, again, don't necessarily need steam. You could use it, but since you're dealing with aluminum, you can have a little bit higher heat for a fast shrink. Second video. So this is more of your tamper evident. Uh, this is going to be for a clear film. I believe this is a type of butter. You've got your timing wheel there before it's going into the shrink sleeve applicator. I did want to make a note about this conveyor, this these lugs here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure on a tamper evident, you need something to catch that plastic so that it doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the container. So you can see these black plastic lugs that are catching that sleeve, preventing it from going down to the bottom. Once it receives that plastic sleeve, goes further into the heat tunnel. And again, focused area compared to nor a, a normal wide aperture heat tunnel after it's done, fully sealed around the top of the lid to ensure safety. Last video here. Again, this is kind of showing off the different shaped container as well as a high speed. You've got your timing wheel. You again, I got, you got your belts pulling that sleeve down. There's your cutter. It's a very fast, quick knife that's cutting the outside edge of the shrink sleeve. Your wheels, again, once it receives that signal from the photo eye saying that a product's there, it'll shoot the sleeve down. There's your tamper arm that's basically, again, wiping, making sure that that label is all the way down. You saw it briefly, here's your reject. There will be a label photo eye essentially saying that if there is no label, on the product, the reject bar will push it off. And then it gets closer to the heat tunnel. You will see how obviously the package on the top starts off wide on your right hand side. As it moves through, you can see the condensation. You know that this is a steam tunnel. Again, that steam is gonna move heat quickly as well as make it a very evenly distributed shrink wrap around the product. Manufacturers, we prefer Axon is a big one. Um, AFM, PDC, Accutech are some of the bigger ones. We carry others, but these are some of the ones that we prefer. Industries, um, basically anything that's in a bottle. Uh, the biggest ones that you'll see, uh, beverage, household goods, cosmetics, our five-hour energies that you see. Again, that's a full sleeve that's including that tamper evident at the top. You see a lot of cleaners nowadays with that, you know, full, it's, if you see something more with a glossy type plastic film to it, most likely it's going to be a shrink sleeve. Category takeaways, you can see a list of these here. 
biggest one that I wanted to touch on was the conveyor type for whenever you're getting these from somebody. You want to make sure that hopefully there is a conveyor included. And as you see, whenever these bottles start to move through, you will see a conveyor on the bottom, making sure that that bottle is held in place. Because sometimes if you're going at a fast speed on these shrink sleeve applicators, the label might tip that bottle over if you're going fast enough. So you want something on the bottom to kind of hold that bottle in place. So as a conveyor is pretty vital whenever you're acquiring these. On the sales side, um, speed requirements are always big, making sure that you're gonna get the, what the customer needs for their speeds. Main thing that I wanted to touch on was the lay flat range versus the slit width. So a lot of these machines will come with a dimension that is classified as the lay flat. So think about your shrink sleeve tunnel, essentially. That lay flat range is taking that and laying it flat on the table. So knowing how wide this needs to be to fit over a mandrel, bullet, whatever it is. Slit width is going to be your full label from left to right. Engineering questions, um, how many label heads they need, how many different applicators they need. Print registered, if they're gonna have a photo Y, knowing when the print registered, what label, when it's ready to go to the next one. Again, a big one is the electric or steam tunnel. If somebody is needing a steam tunnel, make sure that they have the adequate resources for water supply. The first example is D1347. Um, again, this is a little bit more advanced of the shrink sleeve applicators because you have three applicator heads, more heads, more speed, and as well as you have the tunnel included on this. Uh, this one in the listing states that it's got up to 180 containers per minute. Use that as the max, not the absolute guarantee of what the speed is going to be. Second, this is even more robust, um, H6498, the Crohn's. Uh, this one is pushing out up to 600 sleeves per minute. This is your mass production. Again, this includes applicator, tunnel, conveyors, and it even has a label inspection system. Again, seeing if there's a label there or not, it'll reject it off the belt if you need it. So, in summary, shrink sleeve applicators are pretty versatile. If you've got an industry where they have a bunch of different containers, they're changing their labeling, different seasons of the year, they want to change up their labels, but keep their container. They don't have to pre-print those containers, they can just change out the labeling. Again, it's a glossy finish, might be a little bit more eye-catching on the marketing side when you're shopping to pull a customer to buy your product, as well as the safety issue of the tamper evidence abilities. Are there any questions, comments, or concerns?